Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Diego Meneses. I'm a design expert in the field of industrial design, and I'm very happy to be with you today here. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever received a love letter? No? Mayola? <laughs> all right. But not just any love letter, all right? But one crafted with such a care and attention to detail that it felt like a piece of art. Today, I want to talk to you about how design in a product is like a love letter, a communication that goes way beyond words, aiming straight for the heart. Now, let's journey back to a time of corsets and carriages where the strict societal rules go over in courtship, right? So, let's imagine, imagine a young man captivated by a woman whose beauty was the talk of the town, right? But alas, her family forbade direct communication between the suitors and their cherished daughter, right? Imagine a time when words alone couldn't express one's feelings. Picture the suitor separated from their beloved one by distance or circumstance, pouring their heart into a carefully crafted letter. Every word, every stroke of the pen, every fragrance imbued into the paper, you know, all meticulously you know, chosen to captivate the recipient's attention. Our protagonist, this gentleman here, let's call him Thomas, all right? So Thomas found himself at a disadvantage among wealthier, more established, you know, suitors vying for the same maiden's attention. But undeterred by his mother's means, Thomas resolved to win her heart through the timeless art of letter writing. So. Each letter, you know, pinned by Thomas, was a labor of love. A symphony of words and sentiments meticulously composed to break through barriers of class and convention. You know, with every stroke of his pen, he painted a vivid picture of his devotion. You know, his dreams and his unwavering commitment of winning her favor. And so, there's a happy story ending here, right? <laughs> so after countless nights spent agonizing over, you know, the perfect phrase, the perfect metaphor, the perfect declaration of love, Thomas, yeah, here is Thomas. Thomas at first bore fruit. So his love letter delivered with all the ceremony befitting a royal degree, you know, found his way into the hands of the fair maiden evading the scrutiny of her vigilant guardians. So in the end, it wasn't wealth or status, the thing that won the day, but the power of creativity, ingenuity, and yes, design. Just as Thomas' love letter revealed his character, so too does the design of a product to communicate its essence, its soul, to those who in country. Now, let's consider the world of consumer products. In a marketplace overflowing with options, how does one stand out? How does a brand convey its value to, to potential customers? And sometimes without the luxury of face-to-face -face interaction. Design, design my friends, this is the answer. Design is more than aesthetics and is, is a language, you know, it's a love language spoken through every aspect of the product. You know, from its form to its function, from its colors to its materials, each element is carefully selected to tell a story, 
to convey the message of worth and desirability. Think about, you know, the slick curves of a smartphone or the comfortable, comfortable contours of a chair, for example. Consider the intuitive user interface of a digital device or maybe, I don't know, to say the luxurious feel of a premium packaging. Those choices are random. They are deliberate decisions, you know, made to engage the senses, to evoke an emotion and to force a connection with the consumer. Now, let's look at this example. So this is a portable power station. Every aspect of its design was carefully chosen to suit the lifestyle of those individuals who want to bring their you know, in the indoor tech comforts into an outdoor setup, right? Think about how each element speaks a language they understand. You know, the handles are positioned for easy transport and allow other objects to be placed on top when it's stationary. The structure and its visual appearance convey robustness, quality, and reliability and of course you know the user interface clearly shows how other devices are connected ensuring as you can see here in the picture that we have right on the top you know that every member of the family can use it safely safely think about how a premium home diffuser with a sense of fragrances needs to communicate a sense of luxury, uniqueness, wellness, and sensory pleasure. It should be neat, right? With great attention to detail, to match you know, the decor of any interior space. The device, the bottle, and even the packaging, as you can see here in the picture, you know, must have a consistent design language that conveys the, the same cohesive message. Right? Also consider the soft geometry of this meditation headphones that we have here in the background. You know, it communicates balance, comfort, and convenience, you know, with a timeless you know, appearance featuring unique visual cues that set it apart from all those alternate, other alternatives in the market. The design also feels welcoming to a wide audience with soft elements that fit comfortably and adjustable, you know, components to accommodate different head sizes. And as you can see here, also including you know, like a forehead strap with ray wave sensors for measuring the meditation. So, in essence, design is the ultimate love letter to consumers. It's a testament to our commitment in understanding their needs, desires, and aspirations. And just like a well-crafted letter, it has the power to inspire, to entice, to endure. And now, as we navigate this ever-changing landscape of commerce and creativity, let's remember the profound impact of design, the silent messengers that speak volumes, the unspoken bond between brands and their audience. Thank you.